All right, today we're going to review translations. So let's jump to the vocabulary. We have an image. Now the image is the new figure that is that is created from the transformation. The pre-image is the original figure before we do the transformation. And a translation is a transformation in which every point in a figure is moved in the same direction by the same distance. Our objective is to describe how the coordinates of a two-dimensional figure change after a single translation and to determine the coordinates of a two-dimensional figure after a single translation. So we have translating by graphing. We can recognize a figure has been translated horizontally or vertically. You learned that in 8.01. You also know that translations are simply sliding all the vertices of a figure from one location to another. We're not changing the shape. We're not changing the size. We're not changing the orientation. We're not tilting it or anything like that. So this keeps the pre-image congruent to the image. So for example, we have triangle INM and we translated it eight units down to create triangle I prime, N prime, M prime. Okay, now let's learn to translate by graphing. So we want to translate this triangle ABC to the right five units. So we're going to count the correct number of units, five, in the correct direction, which is right. So we're going to take C and we're going to go, here we go. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Here's our new C. Then we're going to take B and go one, two, three, four, five. So this is our new B. And then we're going to move A, one, two, three, four, five. This is our new A. So we have our triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. All right, so they, you can see they've moved them all. And then step three, we draw our new triangle. Here are the steps for translating a figure by graphing. So this is really good to write in your notes. Step one, count the correct number of units in the correct direction from each vertex of the pre-image to find the location of each vertex in the image. Step two, plot and label each point of the image using the prime notation. And step three, connect the points of the image with the line segments and name the image. So we want to translate polygon LOPQ up two units what are the coordinates of the translated figure? So we're just gonna take each vertex and go up one, two, up one, two, up one, two, and up one, two. All right. So we can see here, step one, count the correct number of units in the correct direction. So we're going up to step two, plot and label each point using the prime notation, L prime, O prime, P prime, Q prime. And then we can just look and see where is L? Okay, L is at three, six, Q is at 11, six. O is at three zero and P is at 11 zero. All right, you can go to page three and practice question number one and two. Make sure you check to your answer to make sure it's correct. <coughs> now we have some algebraic rules. So these are supposed to help us. Sometimes they confuse us a little bit. So just keep in mind, you can still follow the rules and the steps on page two, but page four is gonna give us some algebraic rules to help us, okay? So how are the coordinates of the pre-image affected by the horizontal or vertical translation? So let's look at this. 
Here's our pre-image in orange. If I move, let's see, if we move our figure over to the right, here we go. So if we move it over to the right, what happens to our prime coordinates? So all I did was shift it to the right. And this is a little tricky because we're counting by two. So two, four, six, eight. I shifted it eight units to the right. And now my negative four positive one is positive four negative one. B was zero three. And now B is eight three. C was five one. Now C is 13 one. D was negative three, negative four, and now it's positive five, negative four. So notice my Y coordinate didn't change at all, but my X coordinate increased by eight. So on a horizontal, this is so important to put in your notes. Please pause. I know I'm going to talk faster than you can handwrite this, but please take a minute to put this in because this is what's going to help us remember it. If we're doing a horizontal translation, that's left or right, when a point of the pre-image is translated to the right, the x-coordinate value increases by the number of units that it moved to the right. When a point in the pre-image is translated to the left, the x-coordinate value decreases by the number of units it moved to the left. So in our example up here, we moved it eight units to the right, so we added eight to the X value. But if I move it eight units to the left, I'm going to subtract eight units from the X value. Now on a vertical translation, when the point on the pre-image is translated up, the Y value coordinate increases by the number of units it moved up. When the point on the pre-image is translated down, the Y coordinate value decreases by the number of units it went down. So I'm gonna put, whoops. I'm gonna put this back. And if I go up, okay, I'm going up 10 units. My X value has not changed. It's still negative four, but I've added 10 to my Y value. My zero hasn't changed, but my three became a 13. My five didn't change, but my one became an 11. So if we move it up, that's what happens. If we move it down, we are subtracting 10 from the Y value. So again, it's it can be a little tricky. This is not something that just makes sense right away. So it's okay if it's a little confusing. Take your time to practice it. And remember, you can still do the work on page two, that's, that's always gonna work too. These are just rules to try to help us have a shortcut. Okay, so if our pre-image is five, five, and we move it two units to the right, we're gonna add two to our X value. If our image is five, five, and we move it two to the left, we're gonna subtract two from the X value. If I have five, five and I go two units up, we're going to add to the Y value. And if I have five, five and I go down two units, I'm gonna subtract two from the Y value. So this is how it looks. They're showing you the work. Oh, hold on one second, let me clear that. They're showing you five plus two to the X value, five minus two to the X value five plus two to the Y value and five minus two to the Y value. So here's our actual answers, but they're just showing you how they got that answer. Okay, so the actual rule is X, Y becomes X plus A comma Y. And that creates our new prime. Or if we're moving it to the left, x, y becomes x minus a comma y. If we move it up, it becomes x comma y plus a. Or if we're moving it down, it becomes x comma y minus a. So up is plus, 
right is plus, left and down are minus. And here's the steps. Again, really important to write all this information down. This is definitely one of the lessons that has a lot to write down. So the steps for translating a figure using algebraic rules, step one, apply the correct algebraic rule to points of the pre-image to determine the location of the corresponding point on the image. So follow these rules here that you should have in your notes. That's step one. Step two, plot and label each point of the image using prime notation. And step three, connect the points and name the new image. So we want to move the triangle up five units. So remember, when we are going up, we're going to keep x the same, and we're going to add to the y. So right now, we have a, hold on, there we go, a is negative 10, negative 2. So we're going to keep negative 10 the same, and we're going to add 5 to the negative 2. Negative 2 plus 5 is 3. B is negative 4, positive 2. We're going to add 5 to the y value, so B prime is negative 4, 7. And C is negative 2, negative 2. C prime is going to be negative 2, positive 3. So let's check our answers here. Step one, let me just clear all this off. Okay, so it, it applies all the rules. Step two, plot the new points. Step three, connect and label. So what if we want to translate the polygon to the left for units? Now, if you don't want, if you don't like the rules, if you're having a hard time remembering the rules, you can just move it to the left three units and then find the new points. We did that on page two. But it's telling us that we can use these rules. We're moving it to the left. So we're going to go to our table and we're going to subtract A from X. So W is 4, 7. So W prime is going to be 4 minus 3, which is 1, 7. V is 6, 4. So Z prime is going to be 6 minus 3, which is 3. And then the Y doesn't change. Then we have Y, which is 4, 1. And Y prime is going to be 4 minus 3, which is 1. And the Y doesn't change. And then X is 2, 4. X prime is going to be 2 minus 3, which is negative 1, and the Y doesn't change. So when we go down here, we'll see all of those answers. They did it in a different order than I did, but the answers are still the same. We can plot our new points, connect the dots, and we have our new image. Notice it is possible for the pre-image and image to overlap a little bit after a translation. This can happen when the translation distance is less than the length or width of the figure. This is another reason why the vertex labels are so important when we're distinguishing between the figures. Page five, you can go to page five and do the practice slides. There are five of them. Make sure you check for understanding and then make sure you have the vocabulary and the key points in your note. If you ever want to have a good note-taking guide, the last page is pretty much what you should have in your notes. All right, everybody, have a fantastic day. Good luck on your assignment.